What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Going to be breaking down and discussing the patch notes for the next Paladin's patch. Paladin's Trick Shot, which is slated to have a PTS up by this Friday. And the patch itself is actually supposed to be releasing and dropping to live, I think, at the third or fourth week of September. So that's kind of what it is right now. Um, tons of new skins, brand new champion, uh, an entire stone keep night rework and a day rework, and the entire map got a visual update. A lot of stuff to talk about. Not as big as a patch as the mid season one, but we still got a bunch of stuff and an okay amount of balance. There's some stuff that's not in the balance though, which I'll talk about. Um, if you guys want me to continue doing these types of videos, and if you missed the live stream earlier, we actually live streamed during the update show itself. We discussed it live and stuff. That should be live on the channel right now. So if you guys want to go check the update show out and then come back to the patch notes before you see the patch notes and look at everything live during the update show, they go and show all the skins in game. They show the new champion in game or entire kit. They show the new stone keep visual rework on in game on the stream as well so you guys want to go check that out that's up on the channel right now live discussing and talking about that as it goes on um also appreciate you guys that were there for the live stream as well huge amount of people there i didn't expect that many people to even show up so thank you guys so much um gonna get right into this we got a brand new champion if you guys missed this as well i'm gonna say this a lot during this video but go check out the update show S sadie might be or I, I keep calling her saudi but it's actually sadie Sadie might be one of the newest champions we've gotten. That's probably one of the best ones we've gotten released. Like, her visual design in-game looks insane. Her recolors are crazy good. She has a really good gold skin from at least the card art. I'm not sure about in-game because they never showed it in-game yet. But I cannot wait to get my hands on her. She looks super fun, and she brings a bunch of new stuff to the game that we have not had in the game yet. So we're going to discuss it real quick. Um, like I said, watch the update show. She is a damage champion. She is a damage. Primary fire is a hand cannon. I don't know if you guys... I actually didn't make this comparison either. If you guys play Fortnite, it is really similar to a deagle or the hand cannon in Fortnite. If you guys do not know what that is, it's pretty much a, uh, a heavy pistol. That's kind of what it is from Fortnite. It looks like the exact same thing. It even has about the same fire rate. Um... So that's kind of a coincidence. I'm not sure if that, that really is a coincidence. It's probably just the same type of weapon. I don't know. But kind of the same as Fortnite. as the hand cannon in Fortnite. But two different, entirely different games. But um, does 525 and has a max ammo count of 7. It does not say it does headshot damage. I'm not sure how much headshot damage it does. I'm assuming it does headshot damage. If that's the case, it probably does like 800 per shot. Um, if it doesn't have headshot damage, then I'm not sure. They never did show that in the update show either. Her alt fire throws up a coin, and if you can land the coin when it's in midair and you shoot it with your primary weapon, it'll stay there. It actually has its own health bar, and if you land shots on the coin, it'll actually uh, ricochet the shots off and do 550 damage to enemies within 10 units. So... Really cool, but at the same time, I'm not sure how that's going to be. The coin looks really small and really difficult to hit for a really fast arcing type projectile that you can throw up. And you have to throw it up just right. It's going to take a lot of skill to actually throw the coin up just right so you can actually hit it. I don't know. Maybe, I'm not sure if it has like a huge hitbox, but it just looks visually small. I'm not sure. I'd have to go into the game and actually play it for myself. That's one thing I'm going to need to do with this champion is play it for myself to really, like, judge how it's, she's going to be. Um, and then her ability one is a blast kick, which actually is her movement ability. It is actually a, uh, a pretty much a, a knockback type kick. It's kind of a backflip. You you hit on somebody, you go you go up to them and they get close enough, you drop kick them backwards, and you, you knock yourself backwards. That's kind of what it is. Really cool. We don't have anything in the game like that so far. Uh, ability 2 is Death Ringer, which is actually a new type of deployable um, and actually grants you 1.5 second invi invisibility once you set it down. So if you set it down in one place, the instant you set it down, you get a instant invisibility, which is really cool. We have not had an invisibility champ since Strix. 
So this, we have more invisibility being added to the game. So it makes Illuminate at least more worth picking up, which is always good. Um, and then a Cardboard Cutout fires three shots that deal 150 damage every one second in a line. So it's kind of just deployable that just does damage in a straight line. It does not move side to side like a Barrack Turret or like a Luna. It just fires in a straight line. So if there's nothing standing in front of it, it'll do nothing. And it only does 150 every three shots. So also has 150 health. And uh, it'll actually, if you actually land a killing blow, the it'll actually explode and reveal enemies, which is really cool. Really cool ability. Really cool. And then her ultimate, which I think is probably going to be the most controversial thing about her, wall bang. Supercharge your hand cannon up and fire three bullets. Each bullet pierces the world, which go means going through walls. Yes, you heard that right, guys. This ultimate can go through walls and piercing enemies, if that wasn't good enough on top of itself. 777 damage per bullet, and it, it pierces through walls and through enemies. So you can pretty much, as long as you know somebody else is on the other side of the wall, you can throw it out you can get damage on them on the other side of the wall. And it does 777 per bullet, and you got three shots. So any squishy that gets hit by all three is pretty much killed. Through a wall, by the way. I don't know if that's going to be balanced. It, they might have to lower the damage. I don't think, before this goes to live, guys, do not panic. Do not panic and get pissed. It'll probably get changed before it goes to live. That's why we have a PTS. If enough people complain and actually play it, it'll probably get nerfed. I think the damage is going to get nerfed. I don't, I don't think it's going to stay at 700 damage. Or like almost 800 damage. It'll probably get nerfed down to 500 something. I see that where it's going to be balanced. Just for having the ability to shoot through walls and pierce enemies. Kind of over overtuned at that part. I think the damage is going to get, get nerfed. So... Before anybody goes and fucking rages, oh, we got more, we got more aim hacks, aim bot, and now we got shit that fires through walls. What does high risk think they're going to put next into the game? They're going to nerf it, guys. It's, it's not going to stay that way before it goes to live. If it does, then they're crazy. It'll get nerfed. Do not, I get your panties in a bunch and fucking rage over it. It's not worth raging over. Also, you guys have probably have never played Overwatch. Uh, fucking McCree has an ult that pretty much does the same thing, except doesn't go behind walls, but it's pretty much a fucking execute that also pierces. So, Same with Soldier 76. It's not even the same thing. So if you guys haven't played Overwatch, you guys don't know what a bad ultimate ability is that actually has wall hacks. Um, got talents. I'm not really going to discuss the talents because I actually need to play her to know which talent's going to be good. You guys can read them. I'm not going to discuss them. Then we have some of her cards. Increase your max ammo. Increase your health. Increase your movement speed. Increase your all charge rate, which can be good. Um, some cards for her alt fire. Increase the projectile speed of the ricochet. Uh, increase the time that the ricochet is out when deployed. Ultimate charge after hitting your coin. Reduce damage taken for 3% for 2 5 0.5 seconds after Ricochet is destroyed. I don't see any of those cards being really useful. Um, increase the duration of her invisibility. Decrease the time between bursts and hand fire by 4%. Increase the health of her uh, deployable. Increase the duration of the reveal. Whatever. I don't. I'm not sure if these cards are even going to be any good. Like I have to play her to really know these cards. Then we have her. Uh, her kicking ability, increase the knockback, increase the to reduce your damage taken. You got DR on that, which can be good. This might be one of her better cards. I guess maybe some movement speed, whatever. I'm not sure. I have to play her to really know what cards are going to be good. We got our recolor. If you guys have the season pass, there's your recolor you get. Here's the recolor you can buy with 60,000 gold. Looks insane. I can't wait to see it in game. And then we have the gold recolor, which I can't wait to see in game. Default, and then we have an uh, MVP post. We have the default emote, heads or tails, which you get from the uh, season pass. And then we have the nightfall event pass. Got a Corvus skin. Instant unlock is a Corvus skin. I mean, for what it is, it looks good. 
Corvus needed a skin. I'd rather have Corvus have a skin. If you guys did not see it, check the update show. They showed it in game. Right here, guys. Right here. This here might be one of the best skins we've ever gotten. It might be one of the best skins to date that we've ever gotten for the game. If you guys missed the update show, they did not show it in like an actual match. But they showed it in game during the champion select screen. Or like the champion screen. They showed this and the recolor. It looks great. It is. It looks great. I cannot wait to have this. Like, this skin alone is pretty much worth the entire event pass alone. It has a tail. It has wings. It has extra rigging. So that, that's extra stuff they actually had to add to a base sky model. They went all out on this skin. If you guys missed this skin, go check it out. Go check it out on the update show. I cannot wait to have this skin. This might be one of the best skins they've ever released. It really is. I'm sure you guys like it as well. It probably makes you guys act up. So most of you guys said you were going to act up in the chat. So when we were we were during the live stream. So don't blame you guys at all. Don't blame you. And um, then we got the recolors. I wish they just wouldn't do recolors. Like that's my only problem with this event pass. I just wish they wouldn't do recolors. It just makes it seem really lazy. I wish we had like three, at least like three skins and just bypass recolors. It just makes it seem so lazy. It really does. And we have the recolor for the devilish sky. It looks great. It looks so good. The black hair. I think I like the pink one more, but the red one looks great too. I'll be using both of them. Probably one of the only skins that has two recolors that I'll probably use. Normally, I only use one recolor because it looks better than the other. But this one has two good recolors that actually look good. Both of them look great. That's really rare. Got some 3D sprays, an avatar, an MVP pose, a death card, which is the new Ray skin. Uh, Trials of the Realm. Going to be having a bunch of stuff. This shows the, the dates. Uh, 350 crystals. It's actually gonna, They're actually going to be adding bounty coins to the uh, Trials of the Realm, which is really cool. So we're going to get 3,000 bounty coins. 120k gold, two titles, a bunch of other stuff. If the challenges aren't bugged, by the way. If they ain't bugged, you can actually get them. If not, if they're bugged, you can't even get the rewards anyways. So it doesn't do anything. I like this spray, too. This spray is one I'm going to want to get. I like that one. Uh, we got an animated spray, some 3D sprays. An avatar. This Vora avatar looks really cool. I actually really like this Vora avatar. A lot of good stuff this patch. Really good cosmetics. Uh, MVP pose, an emote, got limited time modes. I'm not going to go over them because they're garbage. Bring back pick any. Until you bring back pick any, then I'm not going to care about the, the limited time modes ever again. Here we go, guys. A new race skin. What did I predict? What did I predict? I've, I've been saying it for the past couple days. They're going to throw this skin behind a chest. And what happened? They threw it behind a chest. So you guys can sit and roll this chest for 400 a pop just trying to get this skin. Don't get me wrong, this skin looks great. The new Ray skin looks absolutely great. If you guys missed it, go check out the update show. I've, been, I've said that every single time, but go check it out. Like She has thigh highs, she has like wristbands, like cloth wristbands that look great on her. Like She looks great. Probably her bet even it's even better than her base skin. I think this skin actually looks better than her base skin. I didn't think that was gonna be possible, but they made it possible. Only problem is it's behind a chest. They have a new Revenant Torvald skin, which is not new, it's a recolor. This skin is not new, it's a recolor of Berserker Torvald. They just made it white. They added white and blue and they changed just changed the effects from the current one. Not a new skin. It is not a new skin. And then we have this dredge skin, which is actually in the bounty store, which is fucking lazy. Uh, if you guys do not know, this skin has no voice pack, and it, it re it's recycling the Merrymaker dredge blaster weapon. And they just took it, used it's normally red, and they painted it black to match the skin. The only thing that's new is that, like, the actual dredge himself is new. The weapon's not new, and the voice pack is the default dredge voice pack. Fucking lazy, and I do not want it. I mean, it's free if you have bounty store coins and you really do want it, you can get it, but it's not worth, it's just not worth the grind, if I'm being honest, even for a free skin. 
Golden Inara, Golden Saris, whatever. I have to wait to see him in game. We got another mount, which is something they had from Realm Royale. I think they had like whales or something floating around the map in Realm Royale. And they took what they had in Realm Royale and they made a mount out of it. So another thing recycled from a dead game. Um, got some more avatars. These are really cool. I, I like this IO one. Probably my favorite. And this Mave one looks really good too. Props to everybody that submitted avatars. Really good. The spooky chest. Here it is, y'all. 400 crystals. 400 crystals. And guess what? Guess how much it cost? Uh, here, oh, I can see 400. I just told you how much it cost. Like, look at all the junk skins. Look at all the junk skins in this. Dark Lord Torval, Trick or Treat Talus, Akuma Makoa. I mean, if you guys want Demon at Maeve, right now is your chance to get Demon at Maeve, which was supposed to be a skin that was never brought back ever again. Why they're just taking it and dropping it into a chest, I don't know. That was supposed to be a skin that was never brought back after the Dark Tides event, and now they're bringing it back and dropping it into a chest. I'm pissed. They said they were never going to bring back the skin because it was locked behind the vault. Same with uh, Fallen Andro and Arch Archangel Tyra. And they've always brought those skins back. The reason why I got this the Demon at Maeve skin during the Dark Tides event was I thought it was never going to come back. And now they're just plopping it randomly into a chest to make money. Like If Hi-Rez is watching, a shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you guys. Fucking liars. Bunch of liars. And then we have uh, the Snowfall chest. If you want the shitty recolor of Torvalds for some reason, then by all means waste your money on this chest. There's nothing in there that actually is worth buying. Apart from maybe Aurora Furia, the rest of these are pretty bad skins. I guess the Dredge skin is okay, but apart from that, they're all garbage. Um, Playtime chest. A bunch of random skins. If you guys want Pepper, Pepper's back in this chest. So those of you guys that want Pepper, there you go. And Or Cuddly Makoa. Wait, I just think it's a waste. We got Stone Keep Visual Rework. We got Daytime and Nighttime Reworks now. Cannot wait to play this map. It looks so good. It looks so good. Can't wait to play it. Got a Bounty Store. It's getting some quality of life changes. We got some free rewards. Bug changes. We haven't even got to the balance yet, y'all. We haven't even got to the balance, and we're like 20 minutes in. Um, I don't know why they're even doing this. What is this? What is this? They're reducing the range on Defiance? What? What is it? What is it? What's that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this has to be a joke. Like, is this some type of, like, early April Fool's type joke or something? This isn't, isn't the problem with Androxus. The problem with Androxus is he just has too much mobility. He, has, he does way too much fucking damage for a flank. This ain't his problem. So they're, now they're giving us less of a reason to even run De Defiant Fist. So now if you guys even were thinking remotely about playing Defiant Fist, here's even less of a reason to, to, to play it. There you go. This goes to show you they don't know how to balance the game. If this was somebody from the AOC that recommended this, you should step down. Uh, this includes a strong data approach mixed with valuable f feedback from our assembly of champions. So if you guys were legit telling them that Androxus needs the Defiance range nerfed, Anybody from the Assembly of Champions that said this to them and gave them th this suggestion needs to step down. Call yourself out and step down. One of the worst balance changes you guys could ever have lobbied for. Why? Please tell me why. Why did he need this nerf? I have no clue. The problem with him isn't Defiance. If anything, I think that's his weakest part of him is his Defiance. Even over his nether step and even over his his uh reversal. That's his weakest part of him, is his defiance. 
it's too risky to get damage off like that. And you're just going to go over here and nerf it? Like, come on. I don't know what card this is exactly. I'm not sure. I think this is, the, this is the amount of ammo that you get from punching somebody. I think that's what this is. So they're nerfing a, another one of his cards for no reason. Who runs this card? Who runs buying time? Who runs this? Not me. I have never seen anybody run it. I have never seen anybody unless they're trolling. I don't know. If you're on the Assembly of Champions and you, you suggested this to them, call yourself out and say, yeah, I'm the stupid person that re recommended them this stupid balance change. I'm going to take the blame, and I'm going to step down from the Assembly of Champions, and we're going to have somebody else do my job, because I don't know what I'm doing or what I'm talking about. And I probably don't play the game. Why do we have an AOC if they're going to suggest this garbage? I don't know. Atlas. Atlas got some uh, reverts. Unstable Fissure got a buff, and then they reverted the nerf they gave to him last patch with Temporal Divide because they probably made it one of the worst talents in the game with that nerf. Now they're reverting it, so there we go. There we go. Atlas got buffed, and he got reverted from last patch, so... And he's still going to be insanely good, even with the nerfs currently how he is in live patch. He's still one of the best off tanks in the game, so he's still really good. Here's a change I love. This is probably one of the best change out of all the buffs and all the nerfs this patch. Cassie, increase the, je the projectile speed by 5% and increase projectile size by 10%. Here we go. Made it. If you're a console player, you should be jumping for joy right now like I am. I cannot wait to use Cassie this next patch because it's going to be so much easier to play her. Cannot wait to see how this does for her. And I am really hyped to actually maybe even pick up Cassie and add her to my repertoire. Because right now, she's just I can only play her up to like an average type level. I, I can't play her any more than like an average. Maybe this will help me. And that's kind of the main problem. I think this, this buff here is going to really help the console players. Not really the PC players, but definitely for console players, it's going to really help. Cannot wait to see how this does. Maybe we'll finally start seeing some Cassies in our ranked games and our casual games on console. Really good buff. Really good. Horvus got some buffs. I actually don't think he needed damage buffs. I think he needed some slight healing buffs and some maybe some cooldown buffs on his heal. I mean, he take, he got buffs, whatever. I'm not going to complain. His ult's going to charge even faster now, too, with how much damage he's, he's going to be doing. Eevee got buffed. Over the Moon got buffed. I mean, if you can play Eevee, this is huge for you. But if you can't play Eevee and if you're like me that can't play her for shit, it doesn't do anything. Uh, the main the main nerf we were, were all wanting, uh, Aegis finally got nerfed. It, it, you guys can read it. I'm not going to go through it. It finally she, He finally got nerfed to the point where I think he's actually going to be in line with a lot of the other tanks. So finally, they nerfed what, what needed to be addressed the most. They finally got that. Deep Roots got reworked. Now it'll, it'll only cripple one person, and then everybody it bounces off of will only get a slow. So it will no longer cripple more than one person. It got reworked. Maybe I can have Grovers that'll actually pick Ramp and Blooming and quit playing damage in my ranked games. I'm actually all for this change. If pe It means people will actually start playing Healer, Grover, over damage. I'm all for it. I don't know how many games I've had thrown because people just keep picking deep roots over ramp and blooming when we have two tanks. Octavia. Here's here's some, finally some Octavia buffs, y'all. Octavia buffs. She's still going to be really bad. She's still going to be just kind of there. Still no reason to pick her over a Tyra or a Victor. Even after Tyra getting nerfed. She, spoiler alert, Tyra actually got nerfed this, this patch too. I don't know. They buff the range, they buff the damage. It's not even that much of a damage buff. Like, there's still no reason to play her. If that's the, her problem. There's just no reason to play Octavia. Sarah's got nerfed. She's still going to be probably one of the best healers in the game. Shaolin got buffed. Doesn't matter. He's still going to be garbage. Sky got her huge nerfs. This is huge. They decreased the healing on Smoke and Dagger down to 100. And they got no longer invisibility on your smoke screen. So if you throw it on a smoke bomb, you no longer have invisibility. Huge nerves. I don't know how this is going to do for her. I really don't. I'm going to have to wait and see how to play and play it for myself. But uh, not looking good. 
Not looking good for like sustain type sky. It really ain't. Strix, they they buffed him. I mean, they you can make the the pistol automatic and you can reduce the recoil. Is he's still gonna be garbage until they revert his nerfs to his Talon rifle to back to what it was originally between shots. I think it was one second or like 0.5 of a second or whatever between shots. He's gonna be garbage. Or they rework all of his talents. He's going to be garbage until he either gets all three of his talents reworked or his talent rifle shot time reverted back to what it was normally. Otherwise, he's going to be still garbage. Still going to be one of the worst characters in the game, apart from maybe like two maps. Garbage. They uh, just goes to show you they don't know how to balance Strix. They don't know. They have no idea how to balance the poor guy, and it's sad. Terminus getting nerfed. That's fine by me. I still think he should be nerfed more. He should not be able to buy Nimble. They need to make it so he can't buy Nimble. That's one nerf I need. he needs to have. Tyra got nerfed. They reduced the damage on her nade launcher, and they actually reduced the damage on In the Fray down 1%. So now you can only stack it up to a max of 20% instead of 30 So there you go. And then I told you guys, didn't I say during the top 5 video when I was talking about Vatu that Enveloping Shadows is broken and it's probably going to get nerfed in one or two patches? What happened? I predicted the future, y'all. Predicted the future. And it got nerfed. It's not really that much of a nerf. I still think it's going to be his best talent, but it's... I told you guys it was going to get nerfed. It's not really... I think it's not going to do much to him. I think he'll still be really good, but... There you go. Some stuff that we needed on this patch. Where's Ray? Where is Ray? Ray is not on this patch. Where is her buffs? She got nothing. Ray is going to be relate released into rank this next patch, and she's going to be bad. She needs some number changes, and she's not getting them this patch. She got a skin. That's it. She got a skin, and that's all she got. She got no balance changes at all. She's going to get released into ranked. And people are going to play solo healer Ray, and she's going to not do anything. And she, or she's just going to feed and not be able to sustain a team because her numbers are too bad. She's going to be pretty bad, especially because she's being released into rank this patch. So she's going to be pretty damn bad because she's got nothing. She got no numbers changes at all, at least with her heal. What, what's some other stuff that we could have used? Uh, what else? I don't know, maybe know, down in the comments down below, let me know some champions you guys should have thought we should have got some balance for. At least the one off the top of my head that I was looking for the most was Ray. Apart from that, like, what else were we really looking for? I don't know. Maybe some Barrack nerfs, because I think Barrack right now is really overtuned as well. Some tank buffs for a lot of the off tanks that are kind of suffering. No Torvald buffs. No Ash buffs. No ruckus buffs. We have all these off tanks that are garbage. Not a single Pip buff. Pip got nothing again. He's still going to be the worst healer in the game. Grok got no changes, no buffs. He's going to be bad again because he's still bugged. Hopefully they fix the bug. I don't know. I, you think they nerf a lot of the tanks, like no con nerfs, no con talent reworks. There's nothing here. Like, where is half the balance? Where is half the balance? I don't know. There's so much shit that they should have balanced. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think we should have had as well added to the balance. The main one was Ray, though. The main one was Ray. She's not on here. I just think they should have buffed like a lot of the lower end tanks. Torvald needs a buff. Ruckus, Ash. There's no Willow buffs. Willow's fucking trash. She's not on here. Tiberius. No Tiberius buffs because he's awful right now. There's nothing. I don't know. A lot of shit that should be on here, but there's just nothing. I don't know. No Pip, pip changes. Nothing like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of the new champion, Sadie. What you guys think of the skins. I don't know about you guys, but I love the new Sky skin. Probably one of my new favorite skins as well. If I'm being honest with you guys, that might be one of my new favorite skins. Cannot wait my to get my hands on that skin and actually play that skin. Same with Sadie. Can't wait to play her. Let me know what you guys think of her down in the comments. What you guys think of the skins. What's your favorite skin from this patch? What do you guys think should have been added that into the balance in the patch notes for the balance section that is not here? That should have gotten some buffs or nerfs? 
let me know in the comments down below. Apart from that, I know this is longer than, way long, longer than I should have for like a, a, a patch notes video, breakdown and discussion video, but whatever. A lot to talk about. I wanted to talk about it all, so leave a like, subscribe, share the video, and uh, I should be live th the day you're seeing this later tonight with some ranked, so if you guys want to stop by for some Paladins ranked live later tonight, or if you're new and you don't know I stream, I do stream, and I will be live later for some Paladins, so feel free to stop by. Um, peace out, guys. I'll see you guys in a future video.